Hey guys, welcome to the return special of the Noel Queen Game tutorials. Um, today's tutorial is about making a well, very nice looking uh, uh, a logo about um, a tech technology expo or something. Um, I'll give you more details in a sec. Just going to start the screen recorder. All right, so um, Illustrator is just starting up here. Um, all right, here we go. Here's the logo that we're making today, and this was done in, in Adobe Illustrator CS3 using the font USAAF Stencil. Um, yeah, so that's what that's what we'll be making today. The link is in the description of the font, the uh, download link there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a nice big text box. And we're going to write expo, e x p o, although well, it's going to be a little e, big x, little p, little o. And I'm going to close that. Get my font here, font options. And I think that looks pretty cool. Alright, so it doesn't look like much at the moment. Um, because we don't have the right font. So I'm going to go down to my font which W's V's use which is called USAF stencil and that is what our logo looks like. This is an A4 landscape image and the size is currently 1162 that is the font size. Now I'm going to make a new layer. An alpha to select the expo layer. So just right mouse clicking hit alpha to selection. And that selects everything on the layer. Alright, so with our new layer here, I'm just going to choose a nice orange color. And we have one here, DC9519 is the HTML notation. If you want to have this color I've got here, just write that into the HTML notation text box. Hit OK. And I'm going to get on my brush tool now. I'm going to get a nice... How big is that brush? Oh, that's a good one. I'm just going to zoom into the X there. Control plus doesn't work. That is a... A, um... Photoshop... Short keyboard shortcut. All right, for zooming in. All right, so let us just color all this X in and yep. Just going to zoom out. See how that looks. Twenty-five percent. Control D. Whoops. Select none, shift control A. Control D is another HTML, uh, what I'm saying, another Photoshop keyboard shortcut for um, deselect or select none. Alright, so I'm so, um, I'm, I so understand Photoshop now, I'm so um, used to it that, like, I, I haven't used GIMP much lately, so this is really quite hard for me. Alright, so I'm just going to write expo, um, sorry, tech, knowledge, and I'm going to take the size right down for that. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I need to rewrite all this because it's on lowercase, and I want it all in uppercase. Tech. Knowledge. Yep, that's good. The the difference between caps lock and like um uppercase and lowercase, they're exactly the same. Although, um, if you look between the this e here and this x, the x has lines through it, so it's more stencily. Whereas, the e, the p, and the o are just like, so sort of like an octagon sign, but. They're very that you know. It's a weird sort of font, but it's not like it's not very stencil, you know. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna move the technology box there. And I'm gonna hit the background layer. And that is what we've created. Just uh, comparing the two logos. Technology needs to be a little smaller. Oops. On my second monitor, I do have the technology, the um, technology expo logo done in Illustrator. So I'm just comparing the two logos. Whoops. So this is just a very quick little logo today. It's not a like a. It's a very good font if you're doing like a. Um, like military sort of stuff like for example if you're designing a video game like a, sh a first person shooter this would be an awesome font to use for it sort of like a hey um sort of like a halo game um the, yeah just like I said just a, a quick little logo today so thank you for watching um I will from now on I'll clearly mark a clearly label um tutorials that um revolve around logos um they might say gimp logo tutorial or something like that all right thanks for watching guys i'm not media and stay tuned for the next tutorial